taking a walk around Zachariah's four acre banana farm in Matali village, Lugazi, one can clearly see a well maintained garden. One thing that stands out in this garden is the many sticks that support the banana stems. Kuba, you can see it, one bunch. It can be the Nzoku Strebi Wagunga 18. It's okay. So, Liba Zito Nyo. 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 His secret to getting these big bunches is that it all starts when he is planting the seedlings where he puts manure in the pits. He mixes cow dung that has stayed for a while with soil to give his bananas good nutrient supplies through the roots. The shoots that he plants are always limited to four in a specific ditch so that there is no competition among the bananas he describes as a family. However, one has to pay attention to spacing in between the ditches. Okuva kuchitoke, okuda kuchilala. Wabeda wo 40 kumi kumi, 10 feet, eh? Kumi kumi, okuva kuchitoke, okuda kuchilala. E chiamba, uh, bichitoko kubeda nga chifuna laiti e chimala. Wena ngatibina competition uh, mulaiti mpewo. No kuberanga be chimuch sobro kuberanga china wicheta we we wiche yaganza. On a daily basis, Zakaria digs to remove the weeds from the ground as opposed to using pesticides to clear them off. This he does to make sure the ground is bare and there is no competition between the weeds and the bananas. In order to improve a fruitfulness and growth of the bananas, Zakaria constantly trims off the dead and overgrown leaves. He uses the dead branches and dry leaves for mulching, which helps control the levels of water evaporation from the ground. After removing it, the chimazo kukala, to chijako nga chimazo kukala, kuchimalo kukala to chisarako, da to chitema atema, bu peace peace, pitono tono, etu bubikisa, ne buvunda after some time. Buvunda, Katuwe tuba tulima, tubi mixinga mutaka, nebisoboro kubeda anga bikola fertilizers. Mawichi nge tukozisa materials, tuzikozisa, ngeida zikola anga na ibijimusa. Zakaria channels all run of water to his garden to keep the bananas from drying up. The bananas also get fed on natural nutrients continuously. You need a full wheelbarrow to feed in wanu plant of banana. So, when you use a uh, liquid form, you can get a one wheelbarrow and you mix it in uh, with the water and you add uh, some urine of uh, animals, well, even as uh, one for people and using it. After mixing, you're putting it aside to rest for two weeks, that is 14 days. After that, we take it to the, direct to the plant and we pouring it direct to the plant. That one, it can, it moves around the, the plant like uh, two meters around the plant so that the, all roots of the banana can suck the what? Those fertilizers. But whenever it rains heavily, he loses many bananas due to strong winds. It's really advisable to planting trees inside the what the banana plantation because there these banana plants also see like other plants. It needs sunshine. It needs enough water. It needs enough fertilizers. He is now looking to growing foreign breeds of bananas to see how well they do under the same care and conditions with hopes of making more money. Craig Kadoda, NTV.